Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project, bringing you an update on the Geminid meteor shower, which will be peaking Thursday evening into Friday morning, December 13th into the 14th. The Geminids are one of the most spectacular meteors, showers, on Earth. Not because of their volume of meteors, be because of their tails and their colors. This video will be all you need to know about the meteor shower coming up in 2018. This Thursday night into Friday morning, the peak. But first, let's learn seven fun facts about meteors. Good little background on meteors. Now let's talk about the Geminids. The Geminid meteor shower is one of the most spectacular light shows of the year. They are visible every December when the Earth passes through a massive trail of dusty debris from a rocky object named 3200 Phaethon. Now, 3200 Phaethon is quite an amazing object. And we can blow it up here, the image from Arecibo, from last year, 17th of December, when it flew by. Close. It seems to be a big crater on it, which you can kind of see here, a hole. Very similar to other small objects or moons we've seen in the solar system, that hole. Electrical in nature, 3200 Phaethon, sometimes incorrectly spelled, is also known as 1983 TB. It's an Apollo asteroid with an orbit that brings it closer to the sun than any other named asteroid. Though there, there are numerous unnamed asteroids with smaller perihelia, it was named after the Greek myth of Phaethon. <laughs> Let's shut that off. The Geminids are visible, as I said, every December. Long thought to be an asteroid or an extinct comet, 3200 Phaethon, this particle debris burn up when the Earth, when the debris strike Earth's atmosphere, resulting in a heavenly display of shooting stars. Now, this celestial spectacle called the Geminids will peak early morning hours of December 13th into the 14th. The best viewing time is 2 a.m. and no special equipment is needed. But you should be away from major cities. You look east and up into Gemini. Dark skies are important. The Geminids are visible around the world. So if you look east here on the 13th at 1.38 a.m., you'll see Castor and Pollock and Gemini. And they typically emanate the radiant as caster. So there's the radiant right there. And you'll see them shoot out of that area. Meaning this is where they're entering the atmosphere. Just a few miles above your head. That being said, this is the debris of 3200 Phaethon. Which is uh, an asteroid that we're going to visit. It's big, it's blue, and it'll be raining down on you. It's 3200 Phaethon. 
Astro Boffins baffled by mysterious repeat visitor. 3200 Faith on a weird object that sends cosmic debris called the Geminids streaking through Earth's night skies is more puzzling than previously thought. For starters, Phaethon appears to be blue. Blue Kachina much? When the researchers viewed the object using telescopes in Hawaii and Arizona, they found that it reflected more sunlight in the wavelengths that correspond to blue light rather than the typical red. Although Phaethon is considered an asteroid, it occasionally resembles and behaves like a comet. Its orbit brings it closer to the sun than any other asteroid acting more like a comet and heating the surface to a whopping 800 degrees Celsius. Then as it whizzes through Earth's orbit, bits and pieces break off the object and rain down on our planet. Heads up. I'll give you links to all of this. Look at 3200 Phaethon, a big bizarre blue asteroid that we plan to visit. There is an artist rendering Absolutely terrible, in my opinion. It could be the strangest asteroid on our celestial neighborhood. Named 3200 Phaethon, the five kilometer wide space rock is one of the few asteroids responsible for a meteor shower. Most meteor showers are from comets that have, have since broken up. But in this case, the parent body is still flying around and it makes unusual close passes by the sun as it orbits and is also an unusual color, the color of the blue Kachina. This weird blue asteroid that created the Geminids and gets so hot that metals on the surface turn to goo, according to Teddy Coretta, a graduate student at the University of Arizona who told reporters Tuesday. Coretta led an international team of researchers who investigated the odd asteroid, which sometimes behaves like a comet, releasing a dusty tail when it passes close to the sun, earning the nickname the Rock Comet. Close approach was last year, and this might be an interesting display this year. So heads up. Keep your eyes up. Look east for remnants of 3200 Phaethon, which we call the Geminids. And most importantly, be safe. We love you. And that's a boom.